Drive by shooting left her confined to a wheelchair and now three years later, a St. Petersburg woman found herself homeless following a trip to the hospital. She made a call for action to our consumer investigator Jackie Calloway after no one else would help. Shannon Richmond says she's scared to go inside her own apartment unprotected. I lost everything. Two weeks ago, Shannon returned home after a lengthy hospital stay. I turned on my living room light and my heart dropped. Much of what she owned covered in mold and mildew. Oh yeah, it's really bad, see? Shannon has already thrown out her living room furniture and what remains in her bedroom, well, a lot of it is covered like you see in green mold and will have to be thrown out as well. I evacuated on the 16th from my apartment and I've been in a hotel since. Shannon suspects an undetected leak caused the mold growth. It's the second time in three years she's lost it all. In 2015, a drive-by shooting left Shannon, an innocent bystander, partially paralyzed. And I need a first floor. Her landlord refused to pay for temporary housing. Then Shannon called the St. Pete Housing Authority for assistance in finding a place to live. No response, Thursday, no response. Friday, no response. So we reached out to the Pinellas County Housing Authority. They contacted the city of St. Pete about Shannon's case. Came Monday morning, I had an email and a phone call from my uh, caseworker. Shannon got her voucher, <laughs> but then struggled to find a vacant apartment. Thank you for calling me back though, I appreciate it. All right, thank you. This week, the Pinellas County Housing Authority took over Shannon's case and just yesterday found her an apartment in Largo. She's moving in today. I also called her former landlord who has now returned half of October's rent. I'm consumer investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.